Welcome back to another edition of Talk Nerdy to Me. Coming to you from the Zia Comics Broadcasting Lair in beautiful downtown Las Cruces. I am your host, Troy Stegner. Before we get into this comic book review, I want to ask you for one favor. Please subscribe. It helps with the metrics a lot. All right, pandering over. Looky, looky. Comic bookie. We have the anticipated Wonder Girl, number two. I got the uh, the pride cover here because uh, that artwork is just amazing. I'm loving it. Love the artwork. I, I, I like where they're going with this story. If you remember the review from the first one, uh, Yara Flor is gone to Brazil, back to her roots. She fell over uh, one of the falls, I can't pronounce it, got you, or one of the big falls there in Brazil. And a mysterious creature kind of grabbed a hold of her. Well, they kind of explain what that is, that, that creature here in this issue. It's a uh, a Brazilian, uh, an, old, an old Brazilian, I guess, princess uh, from long, long ago. Was really, I mean, she was just a, a really good warrior. Uh, so much so that her dad doted on her uh, at the expense of her two brothers. He kind of, you know, pushed the two brothers aside because she was like the prodigy. She was just, she was it. Uh, the two brothers, seeing the sister get all the love and attention, were not happy, you know. So they, they got together, they plotted uh, against her uh, to kill her, actually. They plotted her demise. So they underestimated her abilities. So when they went to jump her, dude, they got waxed. She just took them out, killed them. The father found out, and at that moment, you know, they're still his sons. He kind of ignored the whole fact, you know, they jumped her, they were going to kill her, and he was so upset with her, he, he threw her off of a cliff into the waters. Um, instead of her dying, though, uh, she had, grew a fishtail, a kind of a mermaid-looking thing, and she became uh, the protector of the water. She she would lure evil men, evil men, to the waters and then take them out. Well, when Yara Flora falls over the falls into the water, that uh, that Yara was there, and uh, you know she grabs hold of her, and then she realizes, hey, this is not an evil man, and and then she started to feel a connection, I guess, uh, a kindred spirit with her. So she not only saved her, you know, gave, took her out of the water, she gave her a really cool magical weapon. It was her bola, which is what she used to pull her into the water uh, over the falls. So instead of a magic lasso, she has a bola, which if you don't know what that is, it's kind of the rope with the two balls on it they spin and throw. Um, so she gets taken out of the water. Uh, the tour guide, you know, is trying to take care of her. He's like, hey, they got her some dry clothes and she's on the plane. In the meantime, everybody, everybody, all these mythological th people are after her because they think she poses a threat to their safety. So you got, you know, Hip, Hip, uh, Queen Hippolyta, uh, Hil I can't pronounce it. The Amazonian Queen Hippolyta sent um, people after her. Um, Hera sent people after her. Uh, there's just a, a long line of people trying, and all the Brazilian uh, mythological stuff, they're all sending people after her. They do not want her to come to power or realize her power because they're fearful of uh, what can happen. Uh, and I, what I thought was cool, they also had, um, you know, this is Wonder Girl, right? The, the title's Wonder Girl, and they're calling Yara Flora Wonder Girl. Well, there's also another Wonder Girl, um, that they mention, and it's at the Hall of Justice. Meanwhile, if you ever watch the old cartoons, you got that Ted Knight, meanwhile, the Hall of Justice. Uh, they're actually showing Hall of Justice there in DC, ba bam And yeah, Harris sending Wonder Girl, uh, the blonde, I guess, American version of Wonder Girl after the Brazilian ver new version of Wonder Girl. So, yeah, you know, and she's tracking her down, and she gets jumped by Artemis, who got sent by uh, um, 
there, there's so many people going after her. You know, so Artemis doesn't know why she thought she was following her, but she was following somebody else. Uh, even, uh, even gets to the point where, uh, you know, Yara Floor was on the airplane and all these people try to jump her on the airplane. Uh, so the airplane is, is crashing down. And then, I mean, you even get Eros. Eros is there, dude. The, uh, was it Greek or, I think it was Greek god of, uh, of live. You know, he's kind of like Cupid. And <laughs> he was going to, uh, take her out. Problem is, his arrow, he's not, he's not immune to his own arrows, right? So as he's pulling it back, uh, to notch it, the arrow cut his finger a little bit. And, you know, the whole thing with Cupid and Eros is once you're hit by the arrow, whatever, you know, the first person you see, you fall head over heels in love with. Well, guess who was coming out of the plane wreckage at that time? Duh, Yara Floor. So now you've got Eros who is turned from trying to take her out to he is smitten with her like crazy. Um... So, I mean, she, like I said, she, this is pre-future state because she just got the, the magic bola and she hasn't really come into, I mean, she's a good fighter. I mean, she even, she took those people out on the plane, two of the, the two of them that attacked her, but she hasn't really come into her own yet and realized what her, you know, the extent of her power. So, and that's where it ends is when, you know, you got all these people coming after her, and then Eros was going to take her out. Accidentally, <laughs> got, accidentally stuck himself with the arrow. This, it's really, it's really catching my interest. I love the fact that it didn't just make her another uh, Amazonian, you know, some random Amazonian that uh, was, you know, banned from Themyscira for whatever stupid reason. They're creating, uh, Joel Jones is creating a whole new backstory, a whole new uh, mythology, uh, everything for this girl. It's not just a rehash of another, um, another character. They're not changing an existing character to fit a diversity mold. It's just, it, it makes sense that she's Brazilian since it's uh, kind of a mix between Brazilian and uh, Amazonian gods. Uh, I'm, I'm really liking it, man. I, I hope... I hope the writing stays this good. I, I can't wait to to see her come into her own, realize what her powers are, and see how everybody reacts to that. Because uh, I I don't think she's going to be the bringer of apocalypse, as you know they all are thinking that it's just going to really really set the paradigm on its ear. Liking it, liking it a lot. I'm telling you, if you haven't already subscribed to Wonder Girl. Uh, you you should. It is really good. It's given the whole backstory to this newer character who uh, I believe she originated in Future State, which wasn't that long ago. So Wonder Girl, that's my review. Wonder Girl number two, definitely subscribe. If you like this video, you'd like to see more like it, subscribe to this channel, man. It helps us with demographics a lot. And until you see that new video, oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to ask you to hit the bell icon to be notified when we put up a new video. Uh -huh. So anyway, until you see that next video, later nerds. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or e? What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG.